go to the chat static project on GitHub, hit fork to add it to your own GitHub account, and then from there you can clone it, just like we did yesterday. Click on clone or download. After you forked it, don't do this to mine because then you won't be able to push, though I don't know that you'll need to, so it probably doesn't matter that much. Um, but clone or download, copy that URL, and then remember you can always open a new window or new tab in your terminal since uh, the server is hogging one. Then I'm going to open a third one actually because we don't want to clone this project into Chatterang. We want to go up a level again as though it were a whole new project. So I'll do a cd space dot dot to go up a level. Dot always refers to the current directory. Dot dot always refers to one level up. So back in your XDBC folder, do a git clone and then paste that URL for chat static that you copied using the green button. And then if you wanted to, you could copy these files somewhere so that you don't have to switch between projects. Um, I don't necessarily want to do that, but you could if you wanted to. Um, remember, you can always open a folder from the terminal. I just changed into my chat static directory with CD. You can always open this on a Mac with open space, name a folder, or on Windows, start space, name a folder. So if you're already in the folder, open space dot or start space dot. So you can see these files. So I don't recommend that you put these inside your source directory or anything, but if you wanted to make another directory inside, uh, inside here somewhere, you could. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it as a separate project just to refer to. It's up to you. If you think you can keep it straight, having it somewhere else, then keep it somewhere else because it's not really part of this project. But we're going to need to copy and paste some stuff out of there. But whenever we do that, I will also paste it into Slack. Yeah. So it'll help you on your homework to have it there somewhere. But if it's a little too much context switching to switch between two code windows, um, just don't worry about it for now because I'll be pasting things in Slack anyway. So that is just the static HTML and CSS for our reference uh, when we start trying to really make this look like the real thing. <laughs>